It's the Cup of Joe Morning Show. Blap. Hey everybody, you're watching the Cup of Joe Morning Show. I'm Joe Jones, and this is Justin Dabney. Good morning. And we're just sitting here today, having our uh, Cup of Joe. Some of you are waking up with us right now. Um, it's about, I don't know, 8.45 here in the morning. Uh, we are going to be talking about, tell, them, tell the people what we're going to be talking about today. We're talking about the uh, tornado that hit our town on December 26, 2015. 2015. See, a lot of people, they get it mixed up because it was so close to the new year, they think it was 2016. Yeah, what do you think about those people that can't remember? Such a dramatic thing and they can't even remember it. Unfortunately, apparently I'm the only one who can remember the exact date. I couldn't even remember. I thought it was 2016 this morning as well. Um, so we're going to be talking about that. Uh, I was in this house when it happened here in Rowlett. Uh Let's see. My mom was on her first date with her ex-boyfriend. She had left that day. And uh, I was here alone with the dog, Bo. And I had taken a nap in this room here. And uh, she called me, woke me up said there's a tornado warning for the Garland area and she said it may be headed towards Rowlett and I said well you know we, we've heard that so many times what's the chances of a tornado actually hitting Rowlett number one and what are the chances if it does hit Rowlett what's the chances of it coming through this neighborhood hitting this exact house Justin what are the chances of that let the people know chances are very slim I lived here for uh, about 23 years and never been in a tornado in this town until then I remember being with my uh, family uh, downstairs in the living room. They said there's a storm hitting us, and I thought, it's just another storm, no big deal. Just another rainstorm, no big deal. So, uh, so anyway, I, I was, uh, I got a call from my mom, and I'm on the phone with her, and I noticed that the wind starts picking up. It starts getting really, really loud outside. Now I'm like, what the hell? That's weird, it's getting really loud. And then all of a sudden I'm watching the TV and all of a sudden the power just goes out. Everything just and uh, so the power goes out and I'm like, okay, the power just went out. That's just weird. And I go back out there on the back patio and I see like some turquoise light back there behind us where the camera's filming. Uh, kind of in the, the neighborhood behind us, I see this, the, the sky is lighting up real turquoise color and it's flashing. And I'm on the phone with her and I'm like, that's weird, the, the sky is lighting up real turquoise-ish. I was like, I've never seen lightning like that. I mean, it was just a big ball of light and it, would slow, it was slow, it would flash and it would like slowly die down and slowly fade away and then happen again. And as I'm looking back there, it's just this big, uh, looks like a rain cloud it's just gray as far as i can see to the left to the right just a big gray cloud and i tell her on the phone i'm like telling her about the the turquoise stuff and her boyfriend at the time was an electrician master electrician and or it may, he might have been a wannabe actually i don't know but he says that's not lightning that's transformers getting hit by a tornado and the transformers are releasing electricity and blowing up Then I realized that's a tornado I'm staring at. As far as the left to the right that I can see, this is a giant tornado. So I had about 10 seconds to run in the house, try to get Bo to come in the bathroom with me. She wouldn't. So uh, I had to jump in the bathtub. I'm still on the phone with her. And as, pretty much as soon as I got in the bathtub, in the bathroom, uh, that's when it started sounding like a ton of like 15 roofers on the roof just <laughs> hitting it sounded like hammers hitting the roof and that was the outskirt of the tornado I knew it was about to hit that was a little debris that was being slung around and then it was like a damn bomb went off a bomb just exploded boom right all the windows just simultaneously started just exploding, busting out of the, out of their, uh, 
or whatever the hell you call it. I should know. I'm a carpenter, but busting out, and uh, I hear the dog Bo. She's she's in the next room hiding under the bed, and she screams. The most eerie scream I've ever heard. She screamed like a woman, like a woman, like being attacked or something. It was, it was really scary, and uh, so she screams, and next thing I know. Uh, it goes on about, I don't know, 15 to 20 seconds, and some people say it sounds like a train or something. I don't think so. It sounded to me like, uh, if you've ever been to the airport watching the planes take off, and you're like somewhere where a plane can just go right over you, that's what it sounded like to me. Really, really loud, like a jet on top of metal twisting right above your head. You can hear it right above the roof, uh, just loud bangs, sl everything slamming into the the house, just uh, really bad. Tell us what your experience was that day. I remember being upstairs in the uh, so-called apartment. I was trying to watch a movie and suddenly it cut black and all the power went out. Then I heard something like uh, vibrating and the, the whole room started shaking, right? Yeah. And uh, I knew, I knew, I knew something with dad was on the way, but I tried to remain calm. So I, I got my shoes on. I opened the door. And as soon as I opened the door, I blew back. It threw you across the room, pretty much. No, it wasn't that intense. I'm more hardcore than that. <laughs> He's more hardcore than that. He didn't let the winds of the tornado blow him across the and room. And then I, 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 uh, I, I, opened, I went to the door, ran down the stairs. I thought I have to, I thought I have to beat the door down, but the door was actually blown open. I thought you were gonna say you thought you had to take a shit or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> the doors were actually blown open, and I had uh, ran into with my family, and uh, the living room was dark, and the uh, Christmas tree had blown over, and uh, the windows in the kitchen were actually blown out. There was glass in the kitchen floor. So let's uh, let's cut to a, a scene here where uh, this this was an actual picture of the tornado, as you can see. I believe it was a was it a how do you say it? A F four E F four. I believe so. Yeah, I think it was a four, uh, five being the the largest that it could be, and this here is a picture of a top view from a helicopter of our neighborhood. This is our actual neighborhood that we were living in at the time, and somewhere in all this wreckage is this house that we're in right now. Uh, luckily, this house wasn't too badly damaged. Uh, this house got the outskirt of the tornado, just the very, we were the very last house to get hit. The house on the left of us here, uh, it was, the entire roof was ripped off. Uh, my house here had some shingles ripped off, a little bit of the roof, uh, mainly the, the whole back door that I was standing at when I was watching the uh, rain cloud, that was completely sucked out, the entire back doors were sucked out of the house just sucked it off i don't know where they went uh the fish mailbox that we had it's gone forever the entire fence i mean within 10 seconds i'm standing there in our backyard looking at our fence and then literally 10 seconds later it, the entire fence is gone and i go outside there's power lines down there's stuff sparking everywhere people are screaming hollering crying a man runs down the street you know what he says he says, don't go down that way. There's, there's bodies everywhere in the road. They're everywhere. There's dead people everywhere. There's a trailer park right down the street. And uh, he told us the entire trailer park was wiped out. It was gone. So uh, I ran down there to, uh, to see if that was true. And on the way down there, you know, there's just a lot of people helping each other out, trying to get people out of the houses that have collapsed and stuff. So kind of helped out with that on the way. And I get down there, and the trailer park's fine. <clears throat> No bodies anywhere, no, not that I've seen. I mean, there were people that were killed, of course. Uh, a few in the houses behind us that were just completely uh, flat, but uh, none that I've seen. And uh, the trailer park was fine, thank God. It had, the uh, tornado had turned right before it hit that trailer park. But, uh, you know, uh, hey, we're, we're at the beach right now. Yeah. We should, uh, you want to go to New York City? Yeah, at, I do. At nighttime? Yeah, yes, I do. Yeah, let's switch over to New York City night. Well, here we are. Well, that was cool, wasn't it? Yes. Well, there's a new uh, Empire State Building. Cool. Here we are. Yes, yes. And uh, 
So after that happened, uh, we just kind of, uh, there was a lot of construction going on. And, uh, you know, that was... Are you wearing uh, Superman pajamas? Pants? Pajamas? Yes. Yes, I am. Cool. Thank you for throwing that out there. I uh, I am business up top and casual down bottom. Yeah, there you go. Just a comfortable, comfortable day. You're watching the Cup of Joe show, guys. I think that's all we have for right now. Uh, anything else you want to add to it? Uh, just uh, everyone take care and uh, stay tuned for more uh, helpful information. That's right, guys. I'm Joe Jones. This is the Cup of Joe show. And this has just been your daily, daily dosage. Thank you for watching the show.